and welcome to the Hona Harmonica Workshops. Workshop C08.1 Perforated Wind Savers. If you've just replaced a reed, as we've shown you how to do in workshop C08, then you will no doubt have noticed that the stud bolt head projects out of the opposite side of the reed plate. What this means is if you're going to be able to glue on a new wind saver, then you'll have to make a hole in it so that it fits over the stud bolt head. And this is what we're going to show you how to do now. For this workshop, we need the following tools. The combined de-riveting tool, but this time we're not going to use the small bit that was needed to press out the old rivet in the previous workshop, but the other head, 10B, which is larger and is used to punch an appropriately sized hole into the new wind saver. Then we need, of course, the set of wind savers so we can select the appropriate size and wind saver glue. So the first step is to screw the bit 10B into position in the pliers. It's very important that you don't screw it in all the way. The tip of the bit should not project further than the inner surface of the pliers. Now we need to choose the appropriately sized wind saver. The easiest way to do this is to place it next to the reed slot. It should overlap at the rivet end by about as far as the rivet pad does with the reed. Now the new wind saver is inserted into the recess in the pliers. The contact surface that will be lying on the reed plate should be facing upwards so that you can see it and the wind saver should be pushed into the recess as far as it will go. Now you close the pliers and then, while holding the pliers closed, screw the bit in as far as it will go. You then unscrew the bit while holding the pliers closed. When the bit has been unscrewed, you can then open the pliers and remove the wind saver. And as we can see, it has a hole in exactly the right place that will fit neatly over the stud bolt head. Now all that remains to be done is to glue on the new wind saver over the stud bolt head exactly as described in workshop C06 steps 2 and 3. So, thank you very much for watching. We really hope that these workshops will help and motivate you to conduct your own repair and maintenance operations on your own harmonicas and thereby increase your playing pleasure. Thank you.